What's exactly a prototype? It's a test, right? You know, a sample. It's part of the process of production. Take this Sigler, for example. It looks nothing like the final product. It's got some weird code on it. It's got funky colors, no eyes, but it's all it needs to be made. You know, you get the wheels, it rolls, it's the right shape. And eventually when you put the paint on, it looks like this. And today guys, I wanna show you some of the most unique prototypes I have ever encountered. And now at first glance right now, you might be thinking, they look exactly the same, Disney Docket. What are you talking about? Well, stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you that they are actually very, very different. We got six Piston Cup racers from Cars 3 that were released in the first two cases, first two, three cases of 2017 for the Cars 3 line. Tommy Highbanks, Chip Gearings, Doug Throttleman, Ralph Carlo, Parker Brakeston, and Rex Revlon. We're gonna go through all these and compare them to the actual finalized product so you guys can see you know, how different these really are and how tremendous actually. I'm very fortunate to have these and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. So welcome back to another Disney Docket presentation. I'm pre-recording this video in late January. I don't know when it'll be released, but I'll be at college, so, you know, gotta stockpile them videos, so there's not a dry spell on my channel, but without any more rambling, we're going to get right into it. Now, the one thing about all of these packages here, now these are packaged prototypes, which again, elevates them because there aren't many prototypes that make it into the package, but they have extremely thick card backs. This is your typical width and thickness, and these are maybe three times, at least two times that thickness. And you can really feel it too, like they are a much better material. These are so smooth. And I don't know why they're doing that for prototypes, to be honest with you, maybe to withstand travel a little bit better, to, I don't know, it's just a different material. Maybe they're made in a different location, but Either way, they even use that for the name tag there. You can see how thick that is. And before we get to the car itself, and you guys can probably already start to tell what's going on here, I'll show you the back. Now there's nothing too special about the back of this one in particular, but we'll get to a couple in moments here. So this is the typical, you know, Cars 3 package released in June of 2017. And Dud Throttleman here, the Mood Springs racer, is completely dark blue. He was released like this, a much lighter blue and a white, kind of a bluish white front. So insanely different, you can see that. I'm not going to open these up, I mean, that would be foolish of me, but you guys can see there how incredibly different he ended up. He has blue rims now instead of black. And the funny thing is, is that Mattel used this right here for their stock image that they put on Amazon, that they sent to Walmart, Target, and all retailers, and there it is on the screen there. It is identical. Pretty cool in my opinion. I'm so glad I was able to get this. Again, there aren't many of these in existence, probably less than five. And Doug Throttleman is my favorite. I just think it's kind of nice to see how the Piston Cup racers would look with different designs, and he looks pretty cool in that dark blue. A little bit more reminiscent of Chuck Armstrong, the Cars 1 racer. So putting him aside now, we're going to move to my second favorite, Ralph Carlo. So there is the stock image that you know Mattel provided. They took a picture of a car, Ralph Carlo, sent it to Amazon, sent it to Walmart, sent it to retailers for them to use. And it ended up being quite a bit different from the real deal. So you can see here how he's much lighter around the front. He's got that light blue, whereas the final version had a dark blue. You can see the colors are slightly different all around. He's got a lighter red. The decals are placed at slightly different spots. Really, really neat. Let's take a look at the card back of this one. So pretty much the same as the last one, but yeah, exactly, this proves my point. This is the stock image that they use. So again, he doesn't look like that, but that is the prototype that I just showed you. And same thing with these other guys that we'll get to in a couple moments here. 
Really, really neat. All right, moving on to combustor. Well, actually chip gearings, but because it's a prototype, they just put on the name tag combustor number 11. And you can see that FPO is that stamp signifying that it's a prototype. I'm pretty sure that stands for first production something. I really should know what that means, but I don't. And again, also on the back here, you have FPO, FPO, FPO. So they're just, you know, stressing the fact that this is a prototype. All these have the thick card back still. Now this guy is not really different from his die cast. Some of them, you know, end up like that. Some of them are changed, some of them aren't. And ship happened to, you know, be just fine. You'll see a couple differences here in the decals, like the blue runs a little bit deeper. There's also not as much black within the green, but overall they are the same. All right, moving on to Fovio Drive number 54, aka Tommy Highbank. So again, you can see the FPO on the name tag there. They put a sponsor and number instead of the name. And again, FPO all around here, super cool. Now these two were in the first case of 2017 Cars 3, available on, what was it, May 1st, I think? Yeah, I think it was, May 1st or... 15th. I'm pretty sure it was May 1st, actually. Such good memories from those times. And this guy is also pretty much identical. So that's why those first two were my favorites, because they differed quite a bit. These ones, not as much. The colors might be slightly different. Oh yeah, there's no camera there on the back. You can see that he does not have that camera in the center of the bumper. So that's one little difference. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Ooh, also you can see, wait, never mind. Yeah, I feel like that back decal is a little different, but can't quite tell. Moving on to Parker Brakeston here, the N2O Cola Racer. So this guy is a slightly lighter purple. He's more of a pure purple, whereas this is a bluish indigo lavender type color, in my opinion. So you can see that pretty easily there. Much so on the sides as well, the lighter green. Really cool. This guy's also missing his camera as well. Let me check to see if anyone else was missing a camera. I think it was just those two. Yeah, Combustor, I think Combustor has, yeah, I'm pretty sure Combustor has his. Or maybe not, it's really hard to tell the way the blister's in there. Yeah, Ralph has his. Oh, Dud does not have his camera though, that's cool. All right, so camera lack seems to be a common theme. And last but not least is Rex Reveler here. This one is my least favorite because he's pretty much identical and we'll show you the die cast in a second, but he also just has a regular name tag. Doesn't say like gaskets number 80 or anything. He's a little bit more purpley, like a darker blue, but it's pretty hard to tell over the camera. You can only see it in person. The rims also look to be a little darker on the prototype. Let's see if he's missing the camera. Yeah, sure enough, he does look to be missing the camera. There's also something funky going on in there as well. <laughs> it just looks so weird. Oh, maybe he does have the camera. It's so hard to tell with that packaging, but yeah. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. Here is the back of the package for those last two there, and they aren't really anything super special. But yeah, guys, 
I appreciate you watching this video. I really wanted to show you guys these prototypes because you know, not many people know about them and I kind of wanted to spread the word. I have them in these awesome protectors here because obviously they're like one of a kind and I don't want them to get damaged. So I slide them in here and they protect them amazingly. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I think Dud Throttleman will be the easy popular favorite, but who knows? Maybe you have a affinity toward somebody else. But yeah, guys, thanks again. Bye now.